Hello, I'm Bob Harris. You might want to consider the use of a shot blast machine for uh, profiling your existing concrete, perhaps for a skim coat. Now, this shot blast machine is uh, eight inches wide, meaning that it'll cut an eight uh, inch swath. You can get a much larger, depending on the size project, 24 inch, 36 inch, and even on an industrial application, you can get them where you ride on, where you're cutting large areas, covering large areas quickly. Now, inside of this machine, the media is a steel shot, okay? Now, this happens to be a very fine steel shot. It's a 170 shot. It's one of the finest. So if you look on the uh, side of the bag here, it says uh, steel shot 170. Um, this is not going to remove a lot of um, concrete, okay? This is going to provide just a very fine profile. If we needed a more aggressive profile, we would consider the use of a, a larger steel shot all the way in upwards of, uh, say, a 320, which is very big. So the larger the steel shot, the uh, more aggressive it's going to be. For demonstration purposes, we're going to show you 170. Now, this is a little screen that simply fits inside of the uh, machine right here. And that's just a screen to prevent any pieces of, uh, say, wood or paper that would uh, get dislodged inside of there and it would actually uh, alter the door from hinging. So we just put that screen in there and then uh, put some of the steel shot. Now this machine recycles the shot, okay? What I mean by that is we have the uh, vacuum attachment. And what happens, it actually recycles and it captures the airborne dust particulate, but yet it maintains the steel shot inside of it. When operating equipment like this, it's a great idea to have uh, your safety glasses. The last thing that you need is uh, the media flying up into your eyes. So the way this machine works is we have our handle here, which opens the uh, gate valve, and it allows the steel shot to be recirculated down onto the floor. As you can see, it's a very versatile and effective tool. It obtains a nice light profile, uh, enabling you to come back over the top of it with your cement-based skim coat or even an epoxy, a high-build uh, epoxy. So it's a real great tool.